may appear to be dominated by the Conservatives, the Liberals, and New Democrats. But there are other parties vying for your attention at the polls. One of them is called the Freedom Party, and it's unique to London. Kate spent some time with the candidates recently, and here's her report. This is a familiar sight in Ontario these days, campaign workers hammering election signs into lawns. But this election sign isn't quite as familiar. It's for the Freedom Party of Ontario, and one of its founding members is Mark Emery, well known for his opposition to London taxpayers supporting the 1991 Pan Am Games. He's the party's campaign director and says every issue in this election, whether it be jobs or censorship, ultimately involves the citizens' freedom of choice. Freedom's governments have consistently taken away. We believe that the purpose of government should be to protect your freedom of choice and not to restrict it. And we believe that the three parties that are in government today that are out uh, looking for votes are parties that are basically uh, going to increase your taxes, uh, increase our debt, and further restrict the options and opportunities and choices you have available to you. Emery formed the party just over a year ago with Robert Metz, who's running in London South and also party president. Both were previously associated with the Libertarian Party, but were dissatisfied with its lack of commitment between elections. They say this party will be around after May 2nd, even if it loses. And they say they have no doubt they will. For us, the election certainly isn't a, a viable thing to look at in terms of winning votes, and none of the candidates in our campaign expect to get more than 100 or 200 votes. Michelle McComb is the party's candidate in London Centre, and she's spending most of her evenings dropping off pamphlets door to door. She's worried women are becoming more dependent on government because of their policies. The Freedom Party's only other candidate in this election is Robert Smink in London North. The small businessman feels increased government bureaucracy is killing his chances at getting ahead. At a recent all-candidates meeting, he said he's against people being forced to join a union. We believe that having the right to associate also means having the right not to associate. We help the downtown London Eaton's employees fight against forced association and compulsory union dues. The decision by some Eaton's employees not to join a union is seen as a victory to the party. On other issues, the party is against censorship, government job creation schemes, and government subsidized health care. It feels women who want abortion should be allowed to have them, but pay for them out of their own pocket. And the party says governments threaten our economic survival by taxing us excessively and by directly causing soaring inflation. The Freedom Party contends the purpose of government is to protect your freedom of choice, not restrict it. Just how many people agree enough to give them their vote on May 2nd is still to be seen. Kate, does the Freedom Party have other candidates outside of the City of London? No, in fact, three. That's it for London. They want to start slowly and win the respective voters. That's how they plan to do it. So we might see the Freedom Party of Ontario in next elections. Now it's time for the weather with Jay and Jay.